So, uh... And welcome to the finals of Grand Prix Paris 2014. It's been a grueling two days, but after 15 rounds of Swiss and two rounds in the top eight, we have our two finalists, Maxime Gilles of France, playing as Javier Dominguez of Spain. They both fought their way to return, and Maxime Gilles, in a very dominating fashion, only losing one match before conceding to his friends and Javier Dominguez crushing his countrymen in the quarterfinals, defeating the other Frenchman in the, uh, the semi-finals in Loic Le Brion. And then, uh, now, Maxime Gilles on the play in the finals, starting off with a Sensei's Divining Top. Sounds perfect to me. And Javier Dominguez replies with the Virgin Catacombs, and already deep in thought about which line to fetch. Um, Raf, what do you think about this matchup? I think Maxim has been playing this matchup over and over and over again this weekend. I'm pretty sure Bug was the most played deck. I don't have the stats uh, uh, anywhere here, but we've seen a lot of Bug action. So I'm pretty sure Maxim feels confident about it. I think uh, the metagame you all touch away, a lot of play players bought mm. on draw, blue, white, red, delver to the table. and. Uh, I think these bug decks uh, made a good job of keeping them down alongside with the Miracles decks, of course, who have been dominating. We had three in the top eight. Uh, there you see a Thoughts is taking away counterbalance. And I'll keep Maxim Jewel uh, just uh, using the top to get some good new cards because he only has Snapcast to mention his hand. Oh, this, this was basically the perfect draw until that Thorsis uh, took away the, the counterbalance. Turn one, Sensei's dividing top, turn two, counterbalance is what you want to do, especially when you're on the draw. You've seen Javier has a very disruptive kind of deck. He also has a lot of him to Turax in his deck, alongside with this discard. And uh, if he can supplement it with the Dark Confidence from the sideboard, he, he can put up a uh, disruption turn after turn after turn. Discard is not exactly the best way to attack Miracles mm -hmm. because they play with the top of their decks. Uh, once a Sensei's Divining Top enters the battlefield, it's almost like the top three cards of Maxime's library are more important than the contents of his hand. At least that's that's what it feels like uh, also for, for the opponent. Playing against Sensei's Divining Top is is very difficult, I think. Yeah, but Javier Dominguez fires off uh, in Tura anyway. And, yeah, Maxime Joe forces it. He doesn't wants to keep his lands, yeah. He wants to keep his lands, yeah. He doesn't care as much about the, the Force or the Snapcaster, but he won't, needs to keep playing lands because if Javier Dominguez trips him of his cards, at least he has lands on the top of his deck. He turned the him to Turok into a Mind Rod, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, a cheaper Mind Rod. The, what, the one that, that, that deals one damage? <laughs> yep, that's the one. And uh, look what he found. That's a counterbalance. So let's see if uh, Javier Dominguez can uh, force something through here. Oh. Another ah. empty rock. Let's check it. I want to keep my lands, so maybe there's a counter spell, another counter balance, or Snapcaster Mage. Or nothing. Nope. Nothing. Looks like a bunch of lands on top for me. Yep. Land, now go. Javier has to start looking for abrupt decay. He doesn't want to cast spells into um, Sensei's Divining Top um, counter balance. Yeah, he does have four in his deck, so. He won't do much brainstorming or pondering with the active Sensei's Divining Top Counterbalance lock. It does look like he's just casting something though. Yeah, it's maybe trying to force uh, the top back. No, it looks like there's a one on top. Another Sensei's Another top. And now this, this calls for action. Double fetch. Ljubljana? Uh, so, sometimes you, you just cast a one mana spell. Maybe your opponent is forced to put Sensei's Divining Top on top. You want, you want to check what's, what's on yeah, top and of the then, deck. Yeah. And then if, uh, if that happens, then you know that you can resolve something more expensive. And now mm -hmm. there's at least a chance that that, that, that happens. I think Maxime has what he needs. And they click. Oh, wow. Oh, Entreat the, the Angels. He has it all. So 
Um, He's I'm just going for it, but uh, yeah, being. Can being I get another white spell? Another white land? No. Doesn't have a white source so yet, it seems. Another white land, yeah. So he has time though. Now Javier knows that there's an intrigue. Oh, here we go. There's the abrupt decay. Maybe a turn too late and a death right shaman. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if, if Javier didn't invest too much uh, in, in the previous turns rather than waiting. Mm. But he did lose Death Rite Shaman and Liliana of the Veil. Vale. And now he's, he's left with one card of his own. So, oh, it's a Death Rite Shaman. That's not too bad. So now, Maxime is looking for the second white or Terminus, I would, I would assume. That only has one card in his hand. Death Rite Shamans uh, and start gnawing away. At the graveyard, even though there's not too much in the graveyard just yet. Upkeep. Uh, so oh, that's up. a terminus. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a terminus. So miracle. Take four end of turn. Yeah, so he's gonna make uh, Maxim lose four there with his uh, two death rights. Probably doesn't have uh, much action in his hand still. Oh, he, he has no cards. Yeah. Javier is just playing from the top of his deck. Wow. And, um, so, so, so is Maxime, but he has a t uh, sense of dividing them to choose the best of the top three. Okay. And just Wasteland's Volcanic Island. Uh, uh, that's also a way. How, how scary is Death Rite Shaman for Miracle throw? Nah, no, it's, it's no big deal, really. Okay. So now Maxime is pretty much just waiting for a white source. Hmm. It's only once. Fetchland, Plains, Tundra, anything, because he's still keeping the Entreat the Angels on top. Oh, another top. Yeah, yeah, this is probably not what you want to see. Actually, top is not that bad. Because you can always convert it to into new cards? Yeah, and uh, what you don't want to do is during your opponent's turn, use the top, put it back on top, and then have it shuffled in some way or cantered. Mm -hmm. If you have more than one top, you know it's not lost because you can still shuffle it in your deck or trade it for a top card of your deck. Yeah, Tarmogoyf gets sorts of plowshares there immediately. Maxim doesn't hesitate at all. There, white land. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Probably upkeep. No. Nope. Ah. Oh. Javier fires off a brainstorm. Uh, draws a wasteland, which does nothing. All dark confidant. Again, uh, not the most. And, uh, and Raf had a Raf had a good point here. Maxim could have just gone for the entreat the angels immediately. Um, before Javier would have been able to draw that brainstorm, draw into more counter spells. As it turns out, um, Javier did did find a forest, but no second blue card. I think he's putting the forest back on top of his library, even. So, um, yeah, just going for him to Tarek here, which seem actually responds to with Vendillion. Click. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, Maxime puts the puts the dark half down away. We'll let Javier draw, draw his. Uh, so yeah. upkeep. Oh, it looks like Maxime just didn't put um, entry the angels yeah. on top of his deck. Oh, he just uh, want to play once another more? land, so he gets to uh, uh, make three? three three angels next yeah, turn. Still, still not lethal though. One, one short. Yeah, Javier has has the force, and now he has fifth, uh, the fifth land. So now the fifth land is there. <laughs> um, that was that was uh, played very patiently by Maxime, but I think. Uh, he gave uh, Javier the, the outs that he didn't, uh, that he shouldn't have. Maybe is the, is the, maybe it's gone. Maybe the entreaty engine is not on top of the library. The, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. There's is, there's is no shuffle effects. It seems. I think. But now uh, Javier uh, can't really do much uh, if he's used to he leave up five mana all the time. Now he has a Delver well, page. I see. Or just play it. And now Maxim has to go for it. He also okay counter spells. Still top. I think he's just playing a very patient game, just making sure that nothing can happen. He is uh, all the time in the world. Well, I think he drew another counter balance. He did draw another counter balance. And here comes the abrupt decay. Delver Secrets. <laughs> Seems like at the top of the, the top of the deck is very good to Maxime. Uh, there That's is, there is away anything. There is an entry, the Angels. Yeah, he's just playing it uh, very, very carefully. 
that Von Jürgenkrieg is actually winning him the game here. So, um, Delver of Secrets potentially flipping? No, not nope. flipping. Not a Delver. What if he had flipped? What would you have done? So oh, have yeah, he has a Daze and a Force of Will in his hand, so... But Maxim's days. plan is working so far. <laughs> Yeah, that's game. So Maxim Julio takes game one over Javier Dominguez. He scoops up the cards, and yeah, one game away uh, from uh, being the champion. He still undefeated. Is he? Well, yeah, he, he conceded uh, the last round of the Swiss, yeah. and he had an unintentional draw. He oh, hasn't lost. Though. He hasn't lost a match yet this weekend. But that, except he hasn't played a match. He lost. He hasn't. No, he hasn't lost the match he played. Okay. That would put the, that way that works. That's, that is quite dominating, though. I mean, I don't think uh, we've we've seen uh, we see such a performance uh, at the GP level that often. It happens from time to time, but this yeah. is really. Uh, yeah, we we are planning. talking talking nineteen rounds, right? Yeah. No. Um, eighteen. Eighteen rounds. Eighteen rounds total, not losing a single match. Do we know how many buys he had? We don't. Nope. No, we don't know. Okay. Rich is going to. Uh, He'll find out. Rich knows. Rich knows. Will know. <laughs> All right. So sideboarding. Uh, you guys talk about sideboarding uh, in the mir what, in the previous round uh, against the Reanimator uh, when Kyler played against the Reanimator. Do you see something different happening here? Oh yeah. It's com it's completely completely different. different. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Completely Go different. On. Usually when you play against uh, a d when you play miracles against a deck that packs days, that packs force of will, spell pierce, you do not want to keep your force of will. That's my take on it. Mm -hmm. It's usually what other people do. Sometimes they keep the force of will, but against one mana, one mana creatures that are very efficient, you don't want to discard two cards, especially when your opponent is mm -hmm. also running him to Turag. So you want to play more uh, one for one cards so he's probably bringing in some... Uh, oh uh, no buys. All right, so he had no buys. Maxim Gil are running this tournament no buys, meaning that uh, every match he played, starting 1-1, one, one, he either won, drew, or conceded. Yep. Really he count. didn't lose a match so, he played. So out of, out of 18 rounds, he's um, played 17 of them, won 16, and drew one yep. unintentionally. One less. It's 15 plus 3. This is the 18. 18. So he played 17. 17 yeah. 115. One, one 15. Drew yeah, 1. I think my, I think one. my yeah. math checks out. Any, anyway. Sure? <laughs> anyway, I think he's bringing the Red Elemental Blast. Uh, Spell Pierce, probably. The egg, I, would, I would board in the Extra Terminus. And uh, Pyroclasm to kill all the... Um, Oh, dark should, confident should be good. Because oh yeah, it's especially good. because there's dark confident in the in Javier Dominguez deck, and we haven't seen it in the other bug list as much. Mm -hmm. And he also doesn't run any of the true nemesis. So and Javier and Dominguez just has some um, some cards that he can bring in against control. Him to Charik, Vendillion click, uh, maybe the fourth uh, fourth of force of will, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Sylvan Library, Spell Pierce, and then there's the two Golgari terms. I'm gonna ask Raf if if that's a card that you should expect as a miracle player. No, ah uh, no, not really. But why? Uh, it does destroy an enchantment, or it does uh, regenerate your creature. Yeah, regenerate from Supreme Verdict. Could, Supreme Verdict is not played. Okay, so it does not regenerate from uh, Terminus. Well, you can put the rege regeneration shield on your guys, but it's not going to do much against Terminus. Mm -hmm. And um, destroying counterbalance is not a not a not a high priority in this in this well, setting. If you want to destroy counterbalance, you want it to be uncounterable. All right, so just for Grab Decay, that's it. I yeah, think, I think uh, so. I think Javier might board in the Sylvan Library to just get extra selection going. Uh, to always keep up threats as well as uh, some disruption. Oh, by the way, we did not talk about this. Well, you, you mentioned it quickly, but there is no true name nemesis. We, you mentioned it quickly, <laughs> but I, I, th I think it's it's truly relevant that this card is not in the finals. Yeah. Even though I think all, a lot of the other Douglas did have it, uh, several copies, some of them boarding up to three, and there's no no insight. Relying on tr more, more traditional uh, dark confidence there. Two, two main deck dark confidence, yeah. It's really interesting. There's hope. Hope, in, hope for in, what? In the land of uh, true name nemesis, there's still hope. 
I don't know. I mean, um, we, we've seen a lot of Trinidad Nemesis uh, games this weekend. And, um, of course, Trinidad Nemesis does shut down some of the interaction with the card itself, but the games were still truly interactive because you needed to either counter the Nemesis or race it, and that made, in my opinion, made for really interesting games. Let's see, going into game two of the finals, from uh, 1,586 players down to two. Both players already qualified for the Pro Tour journey into NYX, which will happen in May in Atlanta, United States. Uh, uh, we had a, quite a fun interaction with the semi-finalist, um, Philip Schroeninger, who after his last loss uh, told us that, yeah, he only plays Legacy, nothing else, no other kind of magic. And that he, when he, his friends told him that in, in Atlanta, which he qualified for, he's going to play Block Constructed, he asked, what is Block Constructed? Oh, wow. He didn't even know. So, uh, yeah, we, we, said, uh, we told him that he can learn firsthand in Atlanta. So, uh, he's definitely looking forward to playing his first Pro Tour. And he will be joined by these two players as well. At least every, every card that's legal in Block Constructed is legal in Legacy as well. <laughs> so, it would be worse the other way around. Yeah. If you only played Block Constructor, you had to play Legacy. And he will just have to get used to the change of pace a little bit. And <laughs> maybe the amount of spells that he will play every turn. Or the oh. number of cards he will... Uh, well, Mirko does not play a lot of spells every turn. Yeah. So, here we go. Game 2 of the finals. Maxim Gio on Miracles up a game. No mulligan. So, Javier Dominguez, a slow start with just an underground C. No oh. action Are yet. we seeing it turn to one top? Oh, oh, ponder. No. I think he does have a top, but he wants to protect it. I, uh, slow. I already uh, uh, I saw um, Red Elemental Blast in his hand. Shuffles away. Uh, one more fun thing about the semis between Maximo Gilles and uh, St uh, Stefan Schoeniger was the fact that they were uh, really courteous to each other uh, during the game. Uh, it was like super gentlemanly, and they uh, during the game they they talked about, oh, you should have boarded this out. Uh, why do you stay on the deck? And said, ah. yeah, I don't. so it was really friendly, like ex exchanging advice. So it wasn't like a semis of a Grand Prix. It was more like at a kitchen table, uh, you know, testing for the for the Grand Prix. It was probably just double bluffing. They were just <laughs> playing in another level. It just didn't get no, it. They, they were they were super <laughs> friendly to each other. Uh, it was uh, qu quite nice to see these avid legacy players uh, knowing the ins and outs of, of their decks. So. Funnily yeah. enough, uh, Philip Schoeninger only lost to Miracles in tournament. All, all the three of his losses in tournament were to the Mirror Match. He won everything. Wait, we, might a, we might have a best deck in the in the tournament here. Milrod. Milrod. Activated Just abilities of artifacts can't be activated. Sensei's Divining Top is shut down. That's, that's a huge boon to uh, to Javier. How many does he have? Does he have one? Yeah, yeah. he has one. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> his, his sideboard is two Disfigure, two Gargari Charm, and eleven one offs. I like I like the one offs when you when do you get them uh, in your opening hand to troll your opponent game two. Yeah, to tilt him for game three. Oh yeah, definitely. Like we saw in the in the semifinals. Yeah, we saw Maxim Gilles uh, did board in the engineered explosives. Also one. <laughs> uh, it does give him it doesn't give him an out to Nora though. So no. he, he doesn't, oh, yeah. really, doesn't really want to oh, do he, it now. Does he have any out to this card? And we were, we were joking about oh, the one-offs. He one has off. a one, one <laughs> wear and tear. And you actually find these one-offs in Legacy, right? If you, yeah. have, if you have the ponders, the brainstorms, yeah. the fetch lands. So it's not like this is a, a, a random. It just means you need one card to, to solve problematic cards. But um, yeah, one, one card only is, is quite a problem. Yeah, back to the match just quickly. We saw a quick exchange where Red Elemental Blast uh, countered the blue spell. Uh, and then uh, a wasteland took care of, uh, of, the, of the Volcanic Island. Maxim Jula has now has to face two Deathrite Shamans uh, and the Norod. So all his Sensei's Divining Top draws are, are good. Counterbalance also made worse if he can't use top. So. You made a point with the sideboard card that could be uh, written in, about, in a 100 a page book. Seeing how many cards do you want in a specific matchup. How, uh, how efficient does this card has have to be? So if it's a one-off that you can probably get within the first five or ten tur five turns, how efficient does it have to be? Do you only need one? Do you need more? Do you but, want more? But when you go to Grand Prix Paris, there isn't a you aren't only playing a single matchup, but you're playing yeah, 20, exactly. 20 different matchups, and you only have 15 slots. Yeah. So there's always the reality of that. That's what the book's about. <laughs> very, very Sold very soon. Uh, 
we see uh, some uh, death right shaman uh, attacks there. Uh, Javier also has a uh, uh, has a waistline up. For, he has double force and another death right shaman in his hand, but they can't do much here. There's uh, they're out of instance or sorcery in the graveyard, so just attacking with one twos might R be on the Rafa, main. How how does a game have to look in which Miracle wins without activating Sensei's Divining Top? You need to be aggro. How does, how does being aggro with Miracles work though? Play Vendillion Clicks, uh, kill all the creatures, uh, or just play your Jace as soon as you can. Alright, so, so somehow get those Terminus to resolve, get your own yeah. creatures onto the board, play Jace. Um, that, that sounds like an apple battle if you, if you can't rely on your main combo. Well, if you're behind, yes. But then, or, or just play Entreaty Angels. Because... Uh... Yep, uh, there's Devil Seekers flips because there's a, a probably kid that's revealed. After that, Javier doing shuffles away. He's not scared of counterbalance or, or top at this moment, so he doesn't want to see that card. And he will try to draw a better one. It is, it is complicated without the top, but it's not impossible. I've, I've played games where you just play Entreat the Angels, and it's not countered, and it's over. Yeah, so um, resolving Entreat the Angels is, is probably uh, Maxim Jill's main plan now. He had um, three of them. Okay, so oh. and then uh, there is, of course, uh, Force of Wild and um, Pyroblast to, to force it through. Yeah. Problem is, he's already very low on life. Yeah, Maxim hasn't done much this game. Um, I mean, just playing his lands. Now, now he will spring into action, uh, such as for the basic mountain. And we'll, I think he will try to oh, regulate that a little bit faster. No, it's like town aberration. That's what he does. We have cues for chaos and so it's okay. 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 The remaining death ride will uh, has something to eat up. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that Maxim is also holding Terminus, so he, he would have had a mass removal for those cards, but was probably not um, expecting that to resolve, yeah. opting to go for the, All right. kills for the cheaper yeah, stuff. destroys the Tundra and plays in a death ride channel. Maxim is on 10. Oh, wow. Not a so now, now he's, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for Terminus here. Yeah. Which is going Artest. to... He's going to be countered, but then that would leave <laughs> Javier with no cards. And does he have two Terminus? That would be insane. Then he has uh, a Supreme Verdict in his deck. Oh, Supreme Verdict would be brutal. I thought that uh, was I don't played, Ralph. He does have a Supreme Verdict in his deck. Oh, he has one. <laughs> okay. It's being played. This is the, the no. match of oh, the one-offs, of the important one-offs. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. So Terminus played... For, uh, and countered by a uh, force of will. Yeah, but then, right. uh, most importantly, Maxim also has double white now. Oh, is that? Is yes. that? Oh, oh him to the right. Oh, <gasps> three cards? Three cards, so. Yeah. Which, so, is it, is, it gonna be, is it gonna be the Terminus? Okay, no. Oh. And the Terminus! Wow. Oh, the terminus. That, that was the out that Maxim needed. And also adding another card in the graveyard to eat with. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is I think there's still Suits of Plowshares in, in uh, Maxim Jules' hand. Is that, is that two of them? Uh, no, just one. Those are the top, right? Sensei, yeah. yeah. Exile. Um, Maxim down six. That would have been a that really was a nice one. Choice. That was a one in three. One in three? Yeah, that was a, a, a nice three. setup. Uh, Maxim yeah. played this really well, I think. Um, playing the spot removal, but then having double terminus mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. would have been really nice. Quite nice. So Maxine, it's a six I that gives him another draw. Or oh, is that is that an entry the angels? <gasps> so that would be four. That would be twelve and twelve. Is yeah, that, I, I'm not sure if the life totals are correct. Well, I don't think Javier is on twenty-four. Uh, no. So six would be like two attacks or one attack. I think they're checking Four. the life, life totals now, so... Uh, no, that was, that's only one attack of Angels. Yeah. Before he's, uh, he would get eaten up by the Deathrite Shaman, so... It might be very close. I mean, he, he needs to draw a solution to, to Deathrite Shaman. Now the, the graveyard is full of, full of instants as well, so... Enough fodder. So, yeah, basically a fan, Phantom Warrior at this point. <laughs> Uh, what? I, this is not a good comparison. Phantom Warrior, 2-2 on Block Force 2. Oh, right. Phantom Warrior doesn't cost a black to activate. Exactly. 
that's, the Phantom that's, Water is, is definitely superior to and, that and, one. Uh, it can be blown up by resonance. Oh, wow. Well. No, it's, it's a wear and tear. That's what he drew. And he does have the top, but yeah, he didn't he play it so far. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, Shatter. The one-off. The destroying one uh, the, one the other one-off. Sensei Divine Top. All right. Like, yeah, what can you do? Let's see what he can talk to uh, there. Oh, Supreme Party. Sensei Divine Top and Brainstorm. Yeah, so that's wow. allowed. I mean, it's another one of these. No. What? 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 Wait, what? So the... the we okay, don't know what missed something. That probably meant Maybe that the life totals were. I think yeah, four. the life totals were not correct there. I think it, Maxime was on four. Oh, we almost got a heart so attack. So much, so yeah. So that was the same, same to the first game too. Yeah, so <laughs> he was on four, and he had the fellowship of a Dylan kick. He scooped it like, what? What's going on? So they start the game at 18 life. Oh, yep. So that's what that's what happens. That, that's why we're here. <laughs> right. Sometimes it's really hard to uh, yeah. get the correct life totals because uh, they change so quickly. You know, the one of. Uh, uh, points from Fetchland, the Force of Wills, the Source of Plowshares being played. So uh, it looks like we missed that one. And uh, yeah, Joe needed, needed to draw something that turn. Yeah, Fetchland finished off. <sighs> if that if that him to target doesn't hit the terminus, oh, that, that then we have the beautiful, beautiful game. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, it was beautiful. But it was beautiful anyway. Yeah, it was a fun game. So we're going down to the wire here in, uh, at Grand Prix Paris 2014. The winner will take home that beautiful trophy that's on the table next to them. Looks like an Oscar. From this from this perspective, <laughs> looks like an Oscar. After two days of magic, only one game remaining. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. fun. It's not over, guys. Come on. Yeah, we're already <laughs> one more game. You have to enjoy it, to enjoy it. Yeah. No, but um, I think we we've seen some uh, some proper games. Uh, and exciting moments uh, overall. I think it would be fitting if Miracles won this Grand Prix. If a, if a Frenchman wins Grand Prix Paris. And uh, Raphael Levy sitting next to us, he called it in the beginning. He's telling Round us Miracles, Miracles is the best deck. And uh, you can, you, yeah, well, you know how good the Frenchmen are. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah, I know. This is. Uh, this is coming down to the wire. I think, I, I, from from my my own perspective, I think that I would be more likely to play Bug than Miracles. But I know how difficult it is to play against a deck like Miracles. It always feels like you can only make mistakes because <laughs> yeah. you're always punished by the top card of the deck. You're punished by the by the spells that are left. Uh, you you can overextend into mass removal. You can you can just do so many things and none of them feel right because. When there's a census dividing job on the other opposing side, you always know that there's so much, so much more resources for the opponents. So we've seen already one, uh, a lot of one of uh, wear tear was put in uh, from uh, from Maxim Gilles, as was uh, Red Elemental Bast, most likely Pyroclan. I find it interesting that Maxim plays a mountain in the sideboard. Uh, PV plays a mountain in the sideboard as well. It's for, uh, I don't remember, I, I know he told me, but I don't remember why. Yeah, I, I think I saw it, it's an unwaste, unwastelandable uh, red source for your semi red sideboard cards, especially if you bring in a, a Red Mouth Blast, a Wear and Tear, uh, maybe some other stuff. And, and actually, it's, it's a good thing in the Miracles Mirror, you put in one more land in deck, because you just want to play land every turn. So and nice Maxim had the, had the mountain and play this game, yeah. so he's bringing it in against the bug deck with the right. Wastelands. Um, Maybe even once another land, uh, don't really know. Yeah. He also has the engine in disposal, so um, if he wants it for three. So Javier is, is the master of the one-off sideboard cards. Uh, <laughs> yeah, his, his Grafdigger's Cage beat like the brand, and uh, now his Nalwad disabled... Um, oh, a headshake, that's nice. Uh, disabled Sensei Stealing Top. That's it. One more game. <sighs> Let's do this. No mulligans and a nice up and down game. Get land brainstorm, that's a keeper. <laughs> and there's a fair amount of lands there and a rest in peace as well. Yeah, but uh, with a flooded fan as well, so with the, so that brainstorm and a scout, so that brainstorm is really strong. Yeah, also, so plenty of land, so let's see if Javier can uh, put up some pressure here. Turn one Delver. Nice start. Looks like no. both players are up to, to good swords. swords. There's yeah. also sorts of flow shares for Maxime. And uh, Maxime on the play, just like in game is one. That, is that a Terminus? Oh yes, it's a it terminus. is a Terminus. 
So what, what yeah, do we do? Yeah. Yeah. Why I not? mean, he did give away the fact that he drew a Terminus. Yeah, it, it is pretty obvious if you uh, yeah, have well. a miracle card on the library. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you're not going to draw it. It's, there's the no... It's a one for one. If you have stalled, Using the mana efficiently, so... Uh, drawing the Terminus for his turn, fetching the response to the Miracle Trigger, again, and then playing the, the Terminus, getting rid of the Delver. Not a bad start from uh, uh, Maxim Jewel there. Mais Two mana, him to turn. Here we go. That, that's, this is Javier yes. Dominguez's game. Just play the, the him in the fourth card. So what do you do? Do you do you brainstorm here? Hide your best cards? Well, the thing is like his hand is not that great. I think you just hide the brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> he would like to hide the brainstorm oh, yeah. if he could, yeah. Well, if you cast it, it's not gonna just card it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Oh, yeah, I, I think Fire I think you're fine in letting him to charge resolve there here, um, simply because brainstorm is going to be so valuable in the, later. in the later stages of the game compared to what it would do now. Like you would you would just hope to draw like bad cards and fetch land. Fetch land. That's uh, bad card, and that's oh that's a good card. Okay. You well, also I mean, hide that one on top. Yeah. Line, now maybe. now you yeah. can hide the the top. Uh, it looks like rest in peace is also important enough for Maxine that he. To keep that, what is he's trying to figure out the which uh, way his oh, deck okay. uh, is. Turned. I was thinking he was putting it on the bottom, but yeah. he has a lot of land, so that's good. Yeah, he's checking it, yeah, that's that's right. Oh, yeah, well, what he has, he's willing to discard he rest in peace. Yeah, he changed his mind, and uh, oh, you have to, yeah, that's two, uh, it's carcass, and a six. No, that's not enough, four, so rest All in right. peace. So. Oh, we'll see if he gets punished for for not hiding it away from uh, Maxim's side. Currently, he doesn't need the rest in peace. It uh, would have been a nice backup against Death of a Chaman and, yeah. and uh, Tomograph, though. He's still scalding turn of py Pyroblast in his hand. Oh, oh more another hint to Wow. Oh, I think he has another yeah, one he has, in his hand. He has three total. Yeah. And those hymns are what yeah. um, set apart the bug decks from the from the other Delva decks. He did, he did put uh, he did put uh, the Grafting Cage on top, which I find interesting. Sorry for uh, interrupting you there. Grafting Cage. Wow. Yeah, Grafting Cage. Oh. Why did you play with Grafting Cage? I think I saw. I think I saw it. No, it's a Pyroclasm. Okay. It looked, sure the artery, it looked really Why would you play there. Grafting Cage? I was cage? I, I was surprised myself. I'm pretty sure it didn't. It doesn't. Right. It is not a Grafting Cage. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think, I think a Liliana is coming down now. Um, that would be a great follow-up. Um, out of resources. Now, now um, the question is if it holds true that Miracles can just play from the top of their deck just as well as... Yeah, the thing is hand. that not only uh, does Javier get a great 2 for 1, he's got some key cards, also wastelanding the, some of the sources just yeah. keeps uh, maximum constraint on mana. So, yeah, no cards, discards the, the him, so... Liliana uh, up to four counters. Just uh, discard him to try to uh, proliferate the Liliana. <laughs> yeah, another top. Another top. To hide a card on the board. Soul oh, Library. Wow. wow, that's a great card for Javier Dominguez to draw. Is it, is it a one off? Yeah, it's a one off. Well, everything is a one off in his deck anyway. <laughs> so. Except for him to draw. And Liliana will be <laughs> So, ponder first. Probably you wouldn't mind a no rod. This very moment. Oh, not, not that he really. Okay, needs. folks, this is the last it's move, the last move. Maxime has, has gone virtually undefeated. This tournament, but this is Every not a board state that uh, uh, Blue White Miracles uh, is happy to. Entry fee is 25 euros. The last three spaces so, in the last, last one of the week. Discarding thoughts. Every player in the tournament will Playing receive the Delta a Grand Prix Paris and a Sylvan Library. I mean, Liliana is, is even threatening to go ultimate here. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah, he wants to see. He and wants to see a land and uh, entry the angels. Like he wants to make two tokens. Yeah. yeah and then he loses one to the to the yeah. minus two. Then he at least has the other one. Or he could uh, no, try no, to just end do, of it, turn. do it at the end of turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, counter spells, source of potions, and brainstorm. These are good magic cards, but not on this board. This fetch land to, fetch, to hide away all yeah. these cards. Yeah, Javier had all a very good plan. Cards. Uh, turn two him, turn three him. <coughs> that that's that's old school. That was played when I started playing 15 years ago, and still proving effective now. So exchange of cards, brainstorms in his main phase. 
just digging one more card. Maybe uh, trying to get rid of uh, some cards he doesn't want. Uh, this very moment. He has uh, Pyroclaws and Source of Power shares in his hand. He's playing uh, another top. Playing another top there. Yeah, so now Sylvan Library uh, in his draw phase, Javier gets to look at uh, two extra cards. Instead of uh, drawing the one regu the regular one, he can choose out of the three, and he can even put some in his hand. Yeah, he, can, he pays for life to draw one of the cards, and it's a Time Ogre and a Death Rite Shaman. So he will probably play both here. So, Arbogoy uh, first, Death Rite Shaman, plus one to Liliana, threatening to go ultimate, discarding the Power Plus. Set swords. Yeah, this this is very impressive. The bug deck, the non, the bug deck without Trinity Nemesis, is just doing so much disruptive things. And and now, the planeswalker has to be answered. Sylvan Library providing card advantage. Tarmogoyf and Deathrite Chum threatening Maxime's life total. And Maxime is sitting there with three lands, no red swords, and two Sensei Divining tops. That's just brutal. Javier uh, Dominguez again looking at top three thanks to the Sylvan Library. It's kind of like build, uh, a little bit of uh, build your own uh, Sensei's Divining Top, but he can pay four life during the draw <laughs> step to uh, get an extra card from, from the top three. So I have two cards in his hand. Counting Tarmogoyf. There is an oh. enchantment as well. Oh, if he goes ultimate with Liliana, he's get uh, Planeswalker as well. Yep. So extra damage. Is it going to be the full, the, the, the full amount or is it. Uh, Missing uh, tribal and uh, <laughs> yeah, it is missing tribal. Is it, Ar it is. Yeah. Uh, so plus one. Camus Pug is third. Days on Javier's side. There, there were tribal cards. Tribal cards played. Bit of blossom. Yeah. Bit of blossom. Yeah. Some bit of blossom. Yeah. I remember some uh, some goblin decks used to run power fire. Oh yeah. To search up oh yeah, right, right, right. Or uh, worn reading is also um, tribal. Yep. So he uh, exchanges the sensitive at the top for a source of plowshares to uh, kill the Tarmogoyf and slow the bleeding. Uh, but Javier Dominguez is slowly, surely taking over the game. Oh, there's the land for uh, uh, for Maxim, so he can at least uh, foil an island, so he can shuffle away something. Still thinking. Yeah, the ah. problem is that Liliana is ultimating next turn. Yeah, and staying in play as well. Unlike, we've seen it in, uh, in the quarterfinals, or, or maybe in the last round, where it was, uh, I think, playing for top eight, where a player uh, used the ultimate on six counters and then lost, most likely because of that, uh, that uh, he didn't keep Liliana in play for one more turn and ultimated her with her at seven counters. So, some library used to a good effect here again. Above the key and brainstorm in Javier Dominguez's hand. So now ultimate. How, how do you how do you divide uh, the permanent of Maxim Gil here? I probably uh, let's see. I just give him top and one land. I think top and one land. Yeah, that way he, he just yeah. he's, he's forced to keep three that's lands good, that way. Good. Land uh, top and uh, top and uh, oh top and island. Yeah, top and island for sure. Top and island, yeah. Oh no, he, he's going to oh, reply no, okay. by first uh, putting the uh, Sensei's Divining Top away. Oh. Now just four lands here, so. Yeah, um, probably one. It's probably going oh, yeah, to leave him with Tundras or Basics. <laughs> That's, if you want to be greedy, you take the Tundras and then you... Uh, you can get punished by Wasteland. Yeah. Takes the Basics because of that. <laughs> he, he, he was already uh, on the back end of, of a Wasteland. Or, good, old, or, good old trades. An island in the plains for Tundra. <laughs> <laughs> for two Tundras. <laughs> for two Tundras. Wow, that, that's, a, that's a fair deal. Right, so... Another under underground super Javier Dominguez. I uh, wanted to shuffle away his library, knew that he didn't have anything spectacular on top of his deck because of Sylvan Library, and now we'll be able to brainstorm into some uh, new and fresh cards with uh, Maxim Jewel, no cards in hand. Uh, there was a Force of Will and a Fetch Line, one more card. It's too bad. Maxim isn't under so much pressure now that now that he has handled the Tarmo Life, but. Um, there is still the Liliana to, to deal with. And All these tops aren't going to do the work. Especially if you don't have any lands, uh, you just constrain so much on mana. And Deathrite Shaman starts eating Maxim's graveyard. One card at a time, two life. So, seven turn clock. We could easily see uh, Javier take another two cards with, um, with Sylvan Library if they, are, if they are good enough. Oh, we see Dark Confident there though. 
There's, there's a misty rainforest, but Javier's probably not too concerned about getting extra cards at this point. He's gonna get, he's gonna get the card next turn anyway. Yeah, exactly. So he, he'll just play he's dark confident and will not plus one Liliana, uh, just because he doesn't he doesn't want to discard any of his two force wills. So. And now Entreat the Angels isn't going to to come down, so it, it doesn't even matter. There, there is one among the top three cards. Is, is there a white source as well? Yeah. I, th I think so. Yeah, this there's there's a so that's yeah. actually an, an instant speed 4-4. Four, four. This is an abrupt decay on top of uh, Javier's deck, yeah, right? And, and two, uh, two Force of Worlds in his hand. Okay, so, so that's... Uh, no, 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 don't, don't kill me. Yeah, don't kill me. No, 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 don't kill me. He wants to draw the land. No, he wants to draw the... Oh, yeah. And sacrificing him, so losing the top, but getting a land in play. Probably a basic line again. He does have a card in his hand though. Oh, is it, it's an island? Yeah, goes for a risky tundra. Nope, goes for the basic planes. Nope. Oh. No. <laughs> Take his mind. Yeah, I, I want the island. Ah, it just slipped. It's getting shuffled by Riz, so we can uh, pick at some new cards, but. Has a lot on his plate. There's Dark Confident, Death Right Channel in play. Explosive for two. Explosive for yeah. two. Well, get, that gets rid of a nice chunk of cards. No, he's, it's going to be a bad decay. Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't have the two white to, uh, to come back with and uh, untreat the angels. Yeah, it looks like Javier Dominguez will be able to uh, stop, uh, put an end to uh, this wild run of Maxime Gilles who had with no buys, got all the way to the finals. Mr. Rainforest, no damage, draw the Abrupt Decay, uh, opting not to use Sylvan Library, and <laughs> then, as you said, Abrupt Decay taking out Engine Explosives. Here. Attack for two as well. Seven. Ah. Can plus one to Liliana if he really wants to. Uh, the There's no cards in Max and Jules' hand. He knows that. They're already looking towards the crowd. I think he's already happy to be there. He's he's been happy the whole weekend. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you go undefeated, then uh, you you know that things have gone your way. Mm. It's it's not like you're thinking I'm the best player oh, in the world. Well, so I'm so lucky. Is it Jace uh, land and another top? I think. So. Uh, I so actually think that land, you yeah. that you have to. You have to know how to lose uh, if you if you want to be a good Magic player. So if, it, it, it's not possible that every loss just crushes you mentally because then uh, this wouldn't be the game the game for you. Death Red Challenge activation takes care of the Camus Pond the Graveyard. Maxim is down to seven now. Upkeep. Dark Confidant. Cover loses one life. Uh, then now it doesn't forget the Sylvan Library. If he takes eight, maybe that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a hope. <laughs> Yeah, if he pays uh, couple of misclick he's a couple of misclicks away from <laughs> from losing. Yeah, I, I never play this when it's in the cube. <laughs> <laughs> you either time out or you or you die from misclicking, so not not any fun. Takes one of these. We'll be able to swing oh there's a wasteland, but no duels for, for Maxim. He, he kept uh, he kept his basics from the Liliana Ultimate. It's a really really swinging game with like a Liliana Ultimate and the uh, finals of uh, of uh, Legacy Grand Prix. And the game's still continuing, but yeah. uh, Maxim is on the back foot the whole game. He, he's it's seeing another Entreat the Angels, but he's he's shuffling it away. It's what is he? What is he even looking for? No, uh, yeah, camera time. Oh, so you think he's <laughs> just I think playing? So. Yeah, enjoying his he, time in the he's, he's one turn away from. Uh, Certain death. Or maybe, maybe I'm uh, missing something. Another top. Terminus, maybe. Relic of Progenitus. That, that, just Relic doesn't help here. Uh, Supreme Verdi also wouldn't have helped him because he doesn't have two white sources because he fetched out red. And Javier knows what's up. Just Relic. Oh, he, oh. he might save him uh, like. Too low. No, too low. There's still the attack from Dark Confidence. Yeah. So. And Death and Time can win just be a response. To yeah. Relic. Two damage. No, two li lose two life. Four down to two. If he says go, it's over. It's to sacrifice the relic. Exile it. So 
no graveyards anymore, draws the volcanic island. Has, now he has to find a source of plowshares. He needs to find two. There's force of will. And Max is like, yeah, all right, there's the handshake. Ooh. Javier Dominguez from Spain takes it home. Oh, you can see how happy he is. He doesn't believe that he has done it. Grand Prix Paris champion, Javier Dominguez. Great run from him. Wow. Amazing, amazing match. So, uh, Javier Dominguez with his buck deck. I have to ask him about the true name nemesis and why, oh, he, yeah. doesn't run, uh, why he doesn't run them. Truly, uh, maybe like in more old, old style deck. No true name nemesis, but still, he takes it home. Yeah, he gets the trophy. He gets jumped on by, by a friend already. Max seems to put up a great fight, though. I have to, you have to say that uh, this was his first proper loss in the tournament. Yeah. I really, I really enjoy when a, an actual champion wins. I'm not saying he, the uh, Maxim did not deserve it. I'm saying I really like when a former champion of something wins again. Like he's a double champion. Yeah. I like that. He was a Spanish champion, and he's been. Uh, he when he was on the pro tour, he was doing well. Mm. So uh, I'm very happy for that. Wow! <laughs> Look how happy he is. Ah, great show from uh, from Javier Dominguez uh, of Spain, and we'll try to get him uh, for a uh, winner's interview here uh, into the booth with us. Uh, yeah, so before we talk to Javier, um, Miracles didn't win. How, on a scale of one to ten, how disappointed are you? I'm not. I'm not disappointed. Uh, he had, that's good. I'm, I'm actually happy he didn't win. So maybe people will still think it's not as good. Yep. Uh, I mean, we can do a quick roundup of, of the topic we had here, but there were three miracle, three miracle decks in the topic. Three of them. Paolo Vitor, Damon de Rosa, uh, Philip Schoenegger, and Maxim Gil all had blue, white, red miracles uh, on their boot and just showed that it's a really good deck. Philip Schoenegger on Miracles said the only matches he lost was the mirror match, mm -hmm. and, but he's playing the deck for two years. So a lot of experienced players came out uh, to Paris to play and proved that if, if you know how to pilot miracles, you can do really well, especially in a Delver dominating metagame. Yeah. Uh, we've seen a lot of blue, white, red Delver, uh, Buck Delver just now. Uh, it wasn't enough in this match, but overall, uh, the, the Delver decks were handled really well by, by Miracles, and it also uh, helped maybe spring up uh, a deck back from the that Reanimator and Loic Lebrion's hands. They did really well against all the Miracle decks he was facing. So, uh, yeah, here you see the bracket, Loic Lebrion first beat uh, Paolo Vitor Damor da Rosa before falling to Javier Dominguez, who dispatched his countryman, Jose, uh, um, Jose Castello. Uh, and then uh, on the other side of the bracket, uh, Jean Maria Cat lost to Philip Schoeniger, and Maxim Gilles defeated Stefan Butcher, setting up a miracle semi finals, which uh, Maxim Gilles won 2 0. But in the finals, he wa it wasn't enough uh, for him to take down Javier Dominguez on bug, and his him to Tura, almost always in multiples, destroying the hand and uh, putting uh, Maxim Gilles to the mercy of the top of his deck. I like, I like his list, I like uh, the way he. Uh Okay? He went to this tournament. He was uh, maybe a favorite against the top eight. I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was good against the uh, Painter Servant. So, uh, well, well deserved. We have Javier uh, ready. So All right. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Move closer to me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well played. Can we see the trophy? Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. I want to hold one of these in my hand one day. Uh, so right, we have uh, several things to talk about. Rafael mentioned that you're a two-time Spanish national champion. Actually, only one. Only one. Okay. Uh, and is this the second title you're taking home? No, no, no other big successes, so probably means that much more to you. Yeah, also means much because I made a few top 16. Okay. So it's frustrating and I really wanted to win. Yeah, so you did, you, you crushed the top 8 and I want to talk about your deck a little bit because for us it was kind of unconventional. You're laughing already. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to ask you, why no true name nemesis? Well, I expected the beta game to be well prepared for that card. Mm -hmm. So uh, I even think some of my opponents sideboarded cards against me that were good against Nemesis. So 
I don't know who have Liliana to mm -hmm. be Nemesis, but I would uh, rather play Confident. Okay. Because Hit Up, it's a very good card against Nemesis. Sure. All right. So, yeah, Dark Confident brings you cards, and it probably works really well with the him to Turak plan. Yeah. They usually play Tom Stalker, <laughs> but they usually want to outcard my opponents if they can, so, yeah. Sure. All right, so now you won the title and you are qualified for um, for the Pro Tour in Atlanta. We talked to uh, uh, another, another top eight competitor, Philip Schoenegger, and after uh, his friends told him that it's well constructed, he asked, what is well constructed? So, with you being more experienced, uh, you feel you can uh, make a run at the Pro Tour? Well, I think it's really tough to make a run with uh, all the good teams mm -hmm. there. But, well, I wish I was my, my best. I have uh, one good friend qualified already, so I think we can make a small team at least. Right. That helps, yeah. You also have another Spaniard qualified, so you can make a nice Spanish yeah, team definitely. for the Pro Tour. Uh, may maybe you should start testing for World Constructing, because you seem really good uh, versed in Legacy. Well, I, I really like Legacy. Uh, I wish the Pro Tour was Legacy. Really. Yeah, of course, of course. I think most of the players in this top eight would want the Pro Tour to yeah, be Yeah, probably a yeah, all but Paolo. <laughs> all right, that's it for us. Uh, thank you very much, Heather. Congratulations thank again. Thank you. And I'll see you in Atlanta. Okay, see you. Right. Round of applause from the Spanish players and Sam. Right, so there you have it. Fantastic tournament. And I think that's going to be it for us. Uh, for me, Matej Zalkai, Javier Dominguez, the Grand Prix Paris champion, <laughs> Ra Rafael Levy, Simon Gertzen, Rich Hagen, and Steven Liming. See you in two weeks.